to Math Chapter 2, Lesson 4, page 99. 99. Powers of 10 include numbers like 10, 100, and 1,000 because they can be written as 10 to the first power, 10 to the second power, and 10 to the third power. Um, I'm hoping this is pretty easy transition because we've been doing a little bit of it in our morning math, right? 99, 99, 99, Example number one, Pet Paws is ordering more goldfish to sell at their store. Each goldfish costs $2. Use the table to determine the cost of 10, 100, and 1,000 goldfish. And you need to describe the pattern and the number of zeros when multiplying the cost $2 by a power of 10. So the cost of one goldfish is the power of 10, pow, one, one, right? Is $2. How many zeros are in $2? There are none. Let's look at the next one. $2 goldfish times 10 is how much money? How many zeros? One. $2 goldfish times 100 is 200. How many zeros? Two. $2 goldfish times 1,000 is 2,000. And how many zeros? Three. The number of zeros in the product increases, so it increases when the power of 10 increases. Each successive power of 10 adds how many zeros to the product? Each time we go down, it adds how many zeros? One zero to the product. How many zeros are in the product of 7 and 100? 2. How'd you get 2? And so how many zeros? So it's 2. How many zeros are in the product of 21 and 10? How many zeros are in 10, my friends? One. How many zeros are in the product of 12 and 1,000? Three. Two, three. So you should have put two, one, and three. Any questions on the first page? Flip the page, flip the page. Now. Here we go. Write 10 squared without exponents. 10 squared is what? Ten two times and 10 times 10 is 100. So count the number of zeros in the power of 10. So how many zeros are in 100? Two zeros. Compare the number of zeros in the exponent of 10 squared. Two zeros and squared have the, how many zeros? They are the same. Mm -hmm. Do you guys see what we did? Or you didn't see what we did? So look, my number here. There's a, it's, there's two right there, right? Can you still see the two through my, uh, not really? All right, sorry. So there's two zeros here. Two and two are the same. See, look, two zeros there, the square, so they're the same. Write the zeros to the right of the 13. So how many zeros do I have to add? Two zeros. So the product is 1,000 
300. I'm going to change my orange out for a light blue so if we can see them. Find 40 times 7,000 mentally. What is the basic fact? If I took all the zeros off, what's my basic fact? So my basic fact is 4 times 7. And they said, <coughs> excuse me, they said 4 times 7 is 28. You can see through that, can't you? <coughs> excuse me. 4 times 7 is 28. So what you're going to do is you're going to count the number of zeros in each factor. There's one zero here, and how many zeros over here? Three. three. One plus three is how many zeros? Four zeros. Write the zeros to the right of the product from step one. One, two, three, four. So the product is 280,000. So, the next one they have 8 times 10 squared. 10 squared means how many zeros are going to be on my number? 2. So I'm going to have a 1 with 2 zeros. 1, 2. How many is the total number of zeros? 2. So 8 times 10 squared is going to really be what? Raise your hand if you know what the answer is. Eight hundred, because you're going to have eight and two zeros. Nicely done. Fourteen times two thousand. You need a basic multiplication fact. What is going to be my basic multiplication fact here? Don't know that I agree with you, but good try. So my basic fact is going to be 14 times 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for what it is without the zeros. 14 times 2. So they said 14 times 2 is 28. So I have 28, and then I'm going to add how many zeros? Three zeros. So I have three zeros. So 14 times 2 is 28. And then I add my three zeros. Making sense? All right. I want you to first of all find the basic fact or basic fact. If I'm multiplying these two, if I drop all the zeros off, what am I multiplying by? One times what? One times thirteen. So first let's do this. What's thirteen times one, my friends? Thirteen. And then I need to figure out how many zeros are in here. Three zeros. So 13, 13 and three zeros makes it 13,000. That's fine. We'll keep going. So do number four for me. First step, we have to figure out how to get to the or chain, make this um, from the power into a number. So the first thing they said was when you see the two, that tells me how many zeros are going to be there. So this is not going to be 10 squared. It's going to be one with two zeros or what is that? 
Yep. Now, I'm going to rewrite it, and now I want you to find out what's my basic fact. If I drop all the zeros off, what do I have? Thirty-seven times one. So if I drop the zeros off, I now have thirty-seven times one. So I'm going to rewrite it as thirty-seven times one. Thirty-seven times one is what, everybody? Thirty-seven. Now that I have thirty-seven, what have, what do I have to do next? Do I have three zeros? I do? Oh, okay, so next I have to add my two zeros back on. So what's my answer now going to be? Does that make sense now? It makes more sense? All right, fair enough. Who's going to help me with number five? Number five. What do I need to do first? So the first step I did here was I worried about the, what is that called when we've got squares? We call it the... The little two, we call it, okay, so exponents. So job number one is exponents, because it goes, please, parentheses, excuse, right? Oh, sorry. Please excuse. So our first job is going to be our exponents, right? Do I have any exponents in number five? No. So if I don't have any exponents in number five, then the next job I want to do is I want to get the basic fact. So I'm going to put on the side, I want to do exponents. And then I want to figure out what my basic fact is. What do you think my basic fact for number five is? Without the zeros would give me what? Nine times. Yep, so without the zeros, I have nine times three. So without the zeros, I have nine times three. What's nine times three? Good job, 27. So, I've checked for exponents, I've checked for my basic facts, now I need to what? Now I have to add my zeros back in. My zeros back in. So I have 27, and how many zeros do I have? Three zeros. One, two, three. Can you guys see my yellow? You usually can, right? Okay. So there's my three. Nicely done. Who's helping me with number six? What am I going to do first? Um, look at my list. My list. What's first on my list? Do I have any exponents? Okay. So my exponents tells me the 10 is really what? Three what? Okay, so it's really one with three zeros, right? 
So that's step number one. I'm going to rewrite the rest of my problem. So we did the exponents. Now I need to look at the basic fact. What's my basic fact here? So my basic fact is going to be 8 times 1. So I'm going to rewrite that as 8 times 1. 8 times 1 is what? Okay. And then, after I have my 8, now I have to go back and add my... I have to add my three zeros, and I have three zeros in here. Okay. Let's look at number 7. This one. What do I need to do first? Okay, so I'm going to do my exponents first. So 10 to the first power means I have how many zeros? So what number would that be? Mm, how many zeros do I need? So what number do I need? Because 100 has how many zeros? Two, so I only need one zero. So what number is that? Yep, perfect. So I'm going to rewrite that. Now I have 21 times 10. So we did the exponents. What's my next job? Which is 21 times 1. Twenty one times one is what? So I'm going to move my 21 up here. And then what do I have to do? How many zeros do I have to add? One zero because there's only one zero here. Raise your hand if this is, or thumbs up if this is making sense. Let's do number 12. We're still going to start number 12 out the same way. Okay, how am I going to start 12 out? What? Exponent. So how many zeros do I need? Okay, so I have two zeros. Now I'm going to rewrite this as I have a mystery number equals, and then look at how I'm going to write this number and see if this, this makes sense. 44 zero, 0 Why did I write it as 44 zero, 0 Why did I write it that way? Okay. So what's going to go in my box? No, you are spot on. Because look, what, what's going to go here? So when I highlight this, I'm going to get the right color, sorry. This is going to be 1, right? 1 times my mystery number. So if I know that 1 is here times, and it's got to equal 44, what's my mystery number? It is. So my box is going to be 44. I know, you just weren't, you weren't able to totally pull it together, right? Does it make sense now? All right, look at number 11. Now look at what they did to us. 
they looks like they flipped our what? They flipped our numbers around, right? So what do we need to do? Do we have an exponent in this one? Nope. So what is my basic fact going to be, do you think? Oh, how did you get that? As my friend said, I think it's going to be a 9, Miss Richardson. Look at this. Do you think she's right? Yes, because we have 1 times a mystery number equals 9. So my box has to be 9. And because 0, 0, and 0, 0 match up, it has to be a 9. Uh, yikes. All right. And welcome back. So what we're going to do is we're going to try number 8. And then we'll go over number 8 and then I will give you your assignment. So what you should have done was you should have said... My basic fact is going to be 9 times 5. 9 times 5 is 45, and then you should have added a 0. Is that what you guys got? All right, so homework's going to look like a lot, but it really shouldn't take a long time. Um, I'm going to have you guys do 1 to 6. One, two, three, four, five, and six. All right, any questions for me about what you're doing? All right, we'll talk to you later. Bye.